John Shane, thanks for having us back today. You know, up to this point, we've talked a lot about your infrastructure where it's today, where you'd like to see it in the future, you know, how we're going to look at one MSP to another, and, and really how EMC can help you get there. And it's really all around transforming and looking at a more modernized data center. So that's what I want to talk to you about today is, is the modern data center. And, and a lot of our customers today are, are, are looking at how they can rebalance their IT budgets. And, and it's it's really looking at, uh, you know, I'm spending so much on keeping the lights on, how do I get more in that innovation bucket? And, and today we're seeing about 30% of IT budgets being spent on innovation, uh, whereas, you know, six years ago we were seeing about 15%, and it's doubled, and it's pretty consistent with your environment, right? And it's really all about transforming the way IT is consumed today and how your infrastructures are built out today, right? Um, and we really look at it as, as two major transform, transformations happening today to get more of that budget into that innovation bucket, right? So, and one has to happen before the other. So, and the first one is, is around IT transformation. And that's really looking at your infrastructure and how do we optimize our infrastructure to be able to take cost out of that keeping the lights on bucket and move it into the the investment piece of it or the innovation piece, right? The second is around the digital transformation. And like I said, the IT transformation has to happen before we start looking at this digital transformation. And it and it's no secret today, you know, with, with in the internet of things and mobile applications, you know, data is exploding. Right? You looked at yours from last year, your two X from last year and you anticipate to be 5x the next three years, right? But that's where all the value is in that data, right? To be able to analyze it, to be able to aggregate it in some called data lakes and, and be able to get predictive analytics, which we've talked about uh, with your, your sensory data that you're looking to get off your machines, um, be able to predict a failure in a part. Um, and what that will do is get better yield out of your production, ultimately making you more profitable, right? And so we look at that as... A, a cycle. Um, and then let's talk about this notion of, of, of modernizing the data center. Um, we really look at this three different phases. One is the infrastructure itself, uh, two is around automating the service delivery, and three is around transformation or transform the people and processes. So we look at uh, a modernized infrastructure. It's really about that converged and hyper-converged that we've discussed in, in so much depth uh, at the briefing and in our, in our meetings, right? It's about that pre-engineered, pre-manufactured uh, system with compute, storage, and network um, all in one system. Um, and ultimately, when we look at it, it's all around the VC messaging around the blocks, uh, rails and racks. So the um, with the blocks, that's your... Cisco compute uh, switching, um, and, and 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 you've got your EMC storage, and you got your VMware hypervisor, really for your mixed workloads, critical applications, uh, where you need the data services and the resilience resiliency that you're used to, right? Um, we talk about the appliances. It's really you know from plug-in to 15 minutes later, you're you're literally provisioning VMs on it, right? Um, it's great for your edge sites, like we talked about. Not all edge sites are created equal, so we have different configurations for each other. But it's two terabytes, 22 terabytes, and the best part is it ties into the block strategy, where we have one management layer over all your appliances and blocks at this point. And then to briefly touch on the racks, uh, basically commodity x86 servers with all software defined for hyperscale. We see a lot of our service providers uh, using it. You know, not there yet. Hopefully one day you are, right? But uh, right now it's probably not the right fit for you. And, and all these converged systems are really built on four different pillars of, of modern architecture that we say. So the first being Flash, uh, you know, with 3D NAND technology um, and, and, and the commoditization of Flash, we're seeing you know, cost be much more economical. Scale out. Which we talked about it with Extreme IO. You know, every time you scale, you're adding compute, network throughput, and capacity. Uh, cloud enabled, 
and software defined. So cloud enabled, we've talked about this before, how we're able to do cloud pools, whether on-prem or off-prem, we're able to do um, cloud boost for long-term retention updated May. Uh, software defined, uh, we have some offerings around that right now. I know um, you're interested, but not there yet, right? Um, and you know, to give some examples of some of these pillars and how we, we've helped, and I want to uh, mention one customer specifically. Um, it was a hospital in this area. Uh, they, you know, they were having a lot of issues with their VDI login times, at least seven minutes on average per login time. Um, we put a stream IO brick, which is scale out, and flash um, in their infrastructure. We took their login times from seven minutes to three seconds on average. Um, and they estimated that they would be able to see another 10 patients a day, netting them anywhere from three to five million dollars per year. So pretty drastic changes, right? Um, any questions thus far? No, it all sounds really good. Great, great. So all this, you know, all, all these infrastructures need very robust data protection and, and security. And and I can say with complete conviction, we're the best in this. 60% market share in data protection, and our RSA security division dominates the market completely. Um, and you're already using some of our data protection today. Uh, we'd like to get a little more in depth on some of those different offerings that we can provide you within that stack, um, but you're somewhat familiar with it. The second phase is around automate service delivery. So the big thing here is taking it for automation from the application all the way down to the hardware. And those layers take management and orchestration, right? We want to automate that all from all for you down the entire stack. And we can do that with products like Viper for all your uh, storage infrastructure, uh, vRealize from VMware, and OpenStack that's really just be able to give you the ability to offer any service deliveries back to your organization that they may request. The third phase is around transforming people and process, right? And what this is basically saying is, you know, we want to take your admins and turn them into architects. Uh, and we want to be able to give you the training to get you there. So a lot of customers ask us, you know, you know, how, do, how, do, how can we do that, right? And that's really where our global services come into play, um, helping educate those admins to become architects and then what that does is make you more relevant back to the business. Really, this whole thing is just trying to make you more relevant back to the business. And we don't really have a lot of the educational resources internally to make that happen, though. Is that something you guys have Absolutely. Done? Our global services department will be able to provide that education for you, whether it be around um, you know, cloud services. I know that's not something that you guys want to get into, um, but application rationalization, whatever it may be, we're, we're able to assist in that. Uh, we have a lot of experience in all these different stacks um, with our global services department and, and helped over 15,000 customers be blunt through this transformation process. It's great. Okay. So we did a study uh, where we, we, we or really survey. We surveyed 1,000 different customers. And what, what came from this survey is those are going through this transformation, right, that we just talked about, whether it be modernized, automated, or transformed other people in process, they're seeing their costs driven down by 24%, right? And of that that cost savings, the business has said, okay, that's great that you're saving this. this and, and whether it's keeping the lights on, you're taking it away from that, or, or different avenues that this modernization is getting you to, um, we're going to give you 40% of that back to invest into to more innovation, more innovation, right? And what that ultimately did for, for these businesses, they were able to say, okay, we're able to accelerate whatever our agenda is in that innovation bucket. If it's digital, yeah, okay, great, by 3x. Um, to give you an example, and, and really for you guys, that's here, right? Be able to roll out those, those sensory data and be able to aggregate it, and it's all made possible by all this, right? These, these, these three different phases. You know, I have a customer... Um, in this area, um, and they do they do uh, uh, they do smart meters. Excuse me, had a little brain fart there. They do smart meters for utility companies, and we put in this infrastructure. We put in a VBOC, 
Uh, we automated a lot of their processes, and what they were able to do is they were able to aggregate all that data faster. Um, and utility companies are, are signing up in droves to do business with them, um, and they've seen quite a hike in their business and, and since they've done this because of just you know automating all, all these deliveries to, to their end users. In this case, the utility companies. Um, you know, for you guys, um, who knows what the future holds? But internally, that means you're going to be able to predict. You're going to be able to accelerate, being able to predict um, if a machine's going to break, right? So, what's the next step? How do we get here? So, next step. Well, first off, I, we have the expertise to really help you in all this, right? Um, like I said, we've helped over 15,000 customers through their transformation journey. Um, whether it be you know just simple migrations. Right? If you want to migrate off your old old uh, work, uh, old infrastructure to your modernized infrastructure, um, we have the expertise to do that. Whether it be looking at just your operating model, you know, this is going to bring some new operations, and we can help you redefine roles of people. We've done it. You know, like I said, once again, 15,000 different people have gone through this transformation with us. Um, I guess a, a good next step. Uh, we've already started looking at your application tiers and understanding what the meaning is back to the business. We've already started to talk about some of these infrastructure steps. But we really haven't honed in where you are in, the, in this journey. So we, we would like to get a better understanding of that um, and do some more assessments to, to get that understanding of where you're at. Um, and I know that Thursdays typically work well for you guys, so I'd like to come back next Thursday at 2 p.m. Um, with my team to start that process. How does that sound for you guys? Sounds reasonable. Okay. You guys have any questions other than that? I mean, it all sounds good. I mean, obviously, we'll need to dig in a little bit further. There's, there's a lot to kind of ingest, but, uh, but it seems like a good story. Okay, great. Well, we appreciate your time, and uh, we look forward to next Thursday. Thanks again.